All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're in episode number 16 for today. In the last episode, I talked about how to boost off your opponents effectively and cause free open goals to be presented to you. We're sitting at two out of 10 matches on 3v3 and six out of 10 on 2v2. Let's see if we can get some threes games today, but we'll probably get twos anyway. But before we get into the games, we have the meme of the day. We have Blocky with Hen. Here it is. Uh, I don't know why I did that, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Shannon came and looked at the image and went, what is that, Chick Zen? All right, game number one, we did get a twos game. We got your boy, uh, Zorik, maybe? Zorak? And we got Colby. So they are together. So whenever I see people partying up together, I have to assume that they might have more communication than uh, two random teammates. But I thought we could be a little more wise on how I approach things. I was going for a, a, a t attack across the, 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 the net there. His angle was off target, so I knew I could kind of approach him. Good fake. I'm going to try and see if he can get there. Good beat. Good clear again. So Colby's going to probably be on this next. He kind of turned uh, a little bit awkwardly, though, which makes his teammate take the ball away from him. I'm just going to wait for them here. I'm just going to see what, see what they do. It's over my head, so I'm just going to loop out. Not the best from a teammate. So once I see that, I can get back to net and just watch for any clears. It's fine. Once again, you can see I'm just like pump faking, just trying to put myself in a good spot. Good save. <laughs> I, just, I feel like I just drove like at one speed the entire way down the field. Okay, this guy's doing a little more than he needs to. You can see he wasted a lot of boost on that play. A good try. I'm going to try and force another 50. Hopefully my teammate can get that back corner and then come to this ball. I'm going to send the right side for him. Always going for the double. Can he get it? Good try. Good save. Hit this off the, off the, the backboard really hard. Great save. A decent try for my teammate. He was a little bit too far away to really get on that ball, though. It's a little bit scary for me to go for this, but I saw he didn't have full control yet. I'm going to sit in here, wait, see what my teammate does. going to get beat, but I want to be ready for his uh, for his touch or his... Uh, like basically, he's forcing the opponent to make some sort of touch. This guy's trying to uh, follow it, which is fine. You can see I can just kind of wait behind the wall and let them come for the ball and sort of uh, push the ball into a not-so-dangerous spot anymore. Wait behind by your boy here. Get a clear down the field. Should be uh, your boy down to the corner. And my teammate's going to probably try to challenge this, but it's at this point, it's like you have to definitely be a pretty aggressive on those challenges. I don't want to get uh, cut off by your boy there because I keep saying your boy, but that is his name. So I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't want to be cut off um, by him in the midfield when my teammate's down the field. It's a decent touch. I could go for this, but once again, I, I talked about this in the last episode. They're set up on defense here. Um, this could be dangerous here if he shoots on target. Good try on the save. So my touch could have been a little bit better. I could have jumped up a little bit faster, like right here. I thought that maybe uh, A to the easy or A to easy um, uh, was maybe going to turn on that, like on his way or way back. But I, once I noticed that he wasn't, that's when I jumped. I probably could have cleared that a little better so it wasn't um, back to the opponent to go for another shot. That's a great touch. Could be open goal. Good try. This is up. It's off the side. You got to make sure you really get around the ball to go for a shot here. And there we go. Um, I'll say thanks. I'm not really, not really a pass. He got like a, a decent attempt at net and then they cut it off. But you can see it's really important that I take that approach around the ball. And taking that extra time to go for that approach is going to be important. And I talked about that as well on one of my videos where I, I did like the free coaching session. Or I thought he was going to go for mid. So I, this is a big thing too, like the, him making that touch like, does slow them down. I think it was like he could have just secured the mid boost though and um, like held pressure in that way. I don't mind him pushing up on that ball, but it's not super necessary. See if he goes for this again. It's a really good try. A little bit scary. So let them, oh, he missed. They both missed. I knew I was going to get beat. I was just trying to force something. Great touch for my teammate. I'm trying to grab a, uh, a line of pads here. And this ball's going to bounce right to me here in mid. So I'm just going to pop it off the, uh, the backboard again. Great save. I'm going to wait in mid here, see if Colby beats him. He does. And like in this position, like, I can let us roll the ball up the wall and stall, stall the play. And then go up, off the wall. He's going to turn on this. Get a little bit of a bump. This should be my teammate to have this ball for free. It's a great first touch. It's around the other player. Now it's a 1v1 or 1v2. Could have done a lot of things there with the ball that wouldn't would have been a lot more effective, like letting the ball drop off his car and then getting around the ball. I talked about that a lot in the free coaching session as well, where it's like in those positions. Um, oh, good try. In those positions, like B 
being off the ball a little bit, but still having control of the ball is going to be way more effective and way more dangerous. The best players in the world sometimes are like just far enough away from the ball. Ooh, this could be bad. Good save, though. It's going to be off the, the back. Should I stay with this? Like right here, I'm taking uh, like approaches around the ball to put us in a good position to make, maybe make a pass there. But once again, because the opponents were set up on defense and they were facing the aggressive position of the ball, uh, it's not really the safest thing. And I like that my teammate didn't go in for that ball. Teammates uh, over aggressive here off the corner, but they, they back off here so I can definitely win this ball. Try and bump them or something. Should give my teammate that extra time. Get this off the corner. See what they do with the backboard. Awkward touch. I'm going to pop this up high again. And then right here, my focus is just to bump this guy. My teammate was pretty far away, but he should be able to be uh, be able to take control of this in the corner because it's up the backboard. When the ball rolls up the ramp like that, it's um, it's really oh that's fine. Um, it's really uh easy to stall time. Get this up high. Just get a good flick. A lot of these touches I'm making are just trying to like stall. That's a great aerial. This is a good chance for me. I should probably go for this. And the, if you can get that on target, it's even better, obviously, because it could be a goal. I hit this off the wall. I don't want to score that. I, that was a good, good control, but I don't want to score off that like free open net there. I think that my teammate and I can make a good passing play of sorts. Let's see if we can get this. Good control on the air dribble. One extra touch. Great save. Let's see what happens here. I'm trying to stall for for my teammate, and I can see that I can hit this off to the side, and this is letting me stay with the ball. Good challenge. Maybe we can go again here. They should have it. I want my teammate to get the winning goal here if we if we can win. Let's see what Colby does. Decent. Good. This is a little dangerous to go for this pass because you can see that your boy is ready for it. There we go. Hopefully we can turn on this. Maybe I'll stay with it though. I'm trying to just pop off the backboard. Oh, your boy's really awkward. He's missing. Maybe he can get in there. Nice. Good finish. So really awkward play from uh, your boy Annette there because I just popped off the backboard and he was facing backwards. Ended up missing the ball. So I'll say thanks because I, I don't know if he's saying great pass or like I'm not sure what's happening. He's probably pretty upset with himself. That was definitely a position that he should have been uncomfortable with. Like shouldn't have been uncomfortable because like he was in a good spot to defend that. Uh, Colby was diamond and the other guy was not ranked. That was a very bizarre lobby, actually. But we do have another user. We had a user in the last episode. I'm not sure was that's just like a random name that's given on Epic Games. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, but let's try to stay on this ball here. My teammate's pretty aggressive, so I want to be a little bit careful. Go for a 50. You can see like right there, I didn't have time to go around the ball and chip it. I knew that. So instead, I go for the low 50. A good save could be a chance though for them off the backboard though good save for my teammate good pop practic is being a little aggressive by trying to aerial under the ball you gotta be really careful not to do that too often there are times there are times where that works but a lot of times if you're under the ball the opponents are going to beat you because you have a standstill and you're not able to like follow it it's a good demo from them it's a good finish as well so I think that my teammate was spawning. Ah, uh, he turned away for the boost. So in that position, he's, he's got to look at the play and be like, okay, there's a potential for them to be on target. So maybe I should just turn in and use the 30 boost that I have uh, to uh, play for the ball instead of going for the back corner boost. Because you need to look at the, the current situation. I know it's a lot of... It's like a sensory overload off of the... Uh, the demo and you're spawning you just need to take a quick look at what's going on because i know that when you're demoed you don't have like a good view of the play but take a quick look at the ball ball cam and get a good read on what's happening with the the game really quickly should be cracked here decent first touch so i'm gonna get beat here from user if he goes for this and then i can stay with this here cracked needs cracked needs to let, let me put, make a play there i'm i'm in control of the ball if Crytek wants to go for this. Oh, okay. That's fine. He's off the backboard. It's a little bit awkward. Teammate wasn't ready though. Because in that position, like, he needs... Oh, good 50. Um, He needs to be ready for, like, those kind of positions if, like, he wants to go there. But he wasn't quite ready for it. So 
Oh, he's not moving down the... He's in midfield. If they can follow it, nice finish. The double tap wasn't even intentional for me. Like, I was just trying to, like, like boost into the, the one touch off the backboard. But Cracktick is, like, either sitting very, very far back. That's both of them. Either sitting very, very far back or very, very far forward. This should be Cracktick to make it clear here. And I see that's over my head, so I'm going to back off. Oh, they land on each other. See if you can get mid. Great shot. That was a great angle. That's actually a really difficult angle. <laughs> it's unfortunate they land on each other. How unfortunate. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. Go for a flip here. And most people aren't really speed flipping properly yet, so I don't know if I should be doing that. My teammate's still up in the air. I'm going to back off here. Now I have the ball for free by turning. Big clear. Practice going for it. Can he get it? Nice finish. I mean, he's making up for it in the second half. I, it's not even the second half yet, but like he's definitely in good positions. You can see how important those big clears are. Like if I have the opportunity to half volley the ball up the backboard, it's still a pretty good opportunity for like in champ to get those those goals. And we do have a GC tournament winner on the other team, so it's these are uh, decently high level players. I'll try and challenge this so I get in the way. I can see that, like you get a good, pretty good read on players' body languages when they're going for the ball. Um, like when they are going to be able to get an extra pop on the ball. So those those timings that you get used to on the aerials and, and uh, air dribbles, um, that's when you can start to like get a read on when you when you should air, uh, boost a little more on your challenges. It's a little scary because they have the ball for free. Go for a challenge or a clear. My teammate to go for this. Good try. I don't think he has much boost though. I think he just used his last little bit, bit of boost. Oh no, maybe not. It, sh it should be good for me to go for this because they're a little bit scared to go on that ball. I'm really gonna go for the back corner boost. I think Excel probably has like 40 boost. He's grabbing pads as well. Good touch. See if he can cut it off. Great touch. Now this is my ball here. I wanted my teammate to turn immediately on the dime, but that's definitely like a little bit higher level of play. Like that touch right there, like off the, the sidewall is immediately going to be good for my teammate. Good try. Should be a finish for me. Nice. I mean, it didn't need to be top crossbar, but, uh, he made a great pass by getting the extra touch off the sidewall. And let's see how open it is. Like, that should be definitely be scorable for me. Yeah, I guess he left. He abandoned, too, because they, they didn't forfeit. Oh, uh, go ahead. You guys do it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Cracktick, you need to come back, man. <laughs> uh, it's a 1v1, brother. <laughs> Where are you going? Nice save. I'm just trying to be close to the ball so I can see what the play is, what, what play is happening. He's going for it again. It's time to shine. I like the decision not to immediately try and go for the goal again. Although, wow. <laughs> okay. That was definitely an open net. I think he like slowed the ball down. All right, GG. I mean, that was interesting. I would say my teammate was in decent positions sometimes, but there was a lot of like hesitation and a lot of positioning where he was under the ball. Um, but overall, didn't didn't play too bad. Definitely seems like when he plays 1v1, he wants to go for those mechanical plays. He's not quite mechanical to do a lot of the things, but he's definitely trying for it. Which is kind of like the important thing in 1v1 is just to try and, you know, boost your mechanics. We started off pretty poor with the beginning of that game, getting down two goals pretty early. But uh, we definitely made up for it in the second half and then user just kind of pieced out. But XL played played really well. He was the GC tournament winner, but he definitely seemed like the most consistent player out of the three players. We got a 3v3 game. Oh my goodness. It's a miracle. We got Dondi and Burner. Let's see how uh, we do against a team of three that's in, in a call together, most likely. If not Nicole, they're at least partied up together and have played together before. Let's see what Donnie does here. A good first touch. Oh. Should be an open net here for me. I'm just going to shoot it towards target. So I'm patiently waiting. This should be around Diamond, I think. Uh, according to what was happening in the last 3v3 games. But it's been a couple episodes since then, I think. Um, so being in Diamond, it's going to be a little hectic with some of the uh, defensive positions, as you can see. Uh, players were not sure who was going to go and stuff. 
This should be back corner for me here. I'm just going to drive into it fast and just get a clear. Whenever the ball is rolling up the, the corner like that, you can get a really good clear on the field. Some decent control from everybody getting consecutive touches. Now, this is like an opportunity for me to go for or for my teammate. That's fine. Definitely could have put that on target um, for me. It's a great touch off the backboard. A little awkward though. Great clear. Great speed from the opponent. Go for a clear off the sidewall. I can follow this up too. Oh, there are four orange players in this in this lobby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, that's a good cutoff. All right, I'm going to sit on this ball here. Try and let my teammates get boost. Good challenge. Burners in the corner. I'm going to loop wide here. Sort of play the back position. Oh. Burner likes to go for a lot of, um, like, touches ahead of the ball. Get a clue on the field. See what acing does. It should be Dondi to follow up the, the ball. He didn't really get a great touch on target, but at least... Is positioning in a good spot. I know that uh, Burner likes to t turn on these balls. Oh, big miss. Very clear. See how I'm just like positioning up the field a little bit just to get in those positions, just in case there is a clear on the field, because we do have Burner behind us. They go for those as well. Okay, it's going to be me here. Big clear from Z Devil. Whoa! Okay. Off the backboard again. Should be one of them to turn. Good try. Looked like he was he was kind of ready for it, but uh, I don't think Dondi was quite fast enough. Yeah, this turn was a little wide. That's okay though. Let's go for a flip here. I see. Oh, this guy does not flip towards the boot uh, towards the ki the kickoff. But I'm gonna try and just drive into this, and it's off the wall unfortunately, so he couldn't get a, a proper touch. Nice, great positioning. All I have to do there is just kind of pinch the ball against the wall to get it across the net. Like both of us kind of drove around it trying to get that clear. And then the pinch was kind of lucky because the way that the back of my car kind of pushed it across went behind all the opponents. But they, the opponents should be definitely a little bit closer to the goal line. Like I think someone was in midfield not really following. Um, oh, he didn't get the boost. Not really following the... Um, whoop, not really following the, the play. He was kind of just in midfield not really... Covering any positions. Trying to see where my teammate is. Good chip across. Okay, it goes across. I'm going to hit this to the left side. To Dondi. Good clear. You can see I was kind of like hesitant to go for that. Because I think they were going to be ready for it. Good clear across. I'm just going to wait in net. Dondi's not really covering too many options here. But I can maybe hit this forward. Hit this again. Loop out here. I know that Riz has uh, control. That's a really good follow-up from uh, the uh, orange team. See if you can follow it. Good try. I'm under the ball, so I'm just going to get behind him. Burner should be trying to go for this. It's a bit awkward, though. I think he used most of his boost. That's a good fake from Riz. I like that, but didn't quite make it pan out properly. Great save. So I see both my teammates are forward, so I'm just trying to wait in mid. It's all three players... And there we go. Just setting up the uh, the play. I'm just watching in midfield, waiting for the, my opportunity to strike. I know that Dondi's making the, all three players force themselves into the play. So I knew that all of them committed. And I can just get a free open goal. I really think I should be scoring those as a diamond player. Like, if I'm sitting in midfield properly and positioning and waiting for things to happen. It's a good, great first touch from Burner. Oh, he's going for the flip reset. I should have played that faster. Should have definitely been like active on offense there. Because Dondi is sitting behind the play. Great aerial. Great follow-up too. It's going to be one of them to clear this. Gotta be a little bit careful. I like that challenge. I'm still going to try and stall for my teammates. You can see I didn't. I could turn on this really early, but I'm not going to. It's a decent clear across too. You can see how like, little you have to do sometimes. Just get a good read on what the uh, what your teammates are doing, what they intend to do with the ball, where they're intending to rotate, and go for this. Oh, I think my teammate went for this as well, but he's able to follow it up and get the corner boost as well. That's a great shot. The teammates are playing really well. They're they're positioning well. They're 
they're rotating with each other. I mean, I think Burner actually canceled his his jump there when he saw me going. So like, there's definitely a lot of thoughtfulness going on, and and you can see their champ, their champ uh, two winners. That should just champ in general. I think it might be just champ. We might be higher than we think in in threes right now because of I, I don't know how the placements work. Not a great challenge for me, by the way, but Dondi might have to be able to turn on this. That's the kind of cut that I do like from Burner right there. Oh. Gonna get behind Dondi here. That's a great play. That's the same pinch that uh, went went well for us. Burner says my bad because he kind of over committed on the challenge, but at the same time, like you see Dondi kind of pre-jumped something there. I'm not really sure what the jump was. But like the only thing that was dangerous there was a pinch around the net, and so he should be positioning for that. And the second that something else changes or something else happens, he can adjust himself to play the backboard or something if, if that pinch doesn't come out. This ball is free for me to go for. I'm going to hit it towards net. The great save. Should my teammate to rotate in here? I'm trying to make it very clear that he's like it's him next to. Oh. Back we go. Let's get another goal. Get it. Oh, so close. I believe that is three games. I might be wrong. Was that four? Let's see. I think that's like... We should be three out of ten and then a nine out of ten, I think, in twos. Why is it eight out of ten? No, that makes sense. So we've only done three games. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so we're against Dondi this time, but we have Burner on our team still. So we got a new teammate. But our, our ex-teammate is on the other team. Great clear. See if uh, Prospectual can go for this. Whoa. Great clear from Dreamin. Great rotation from Burner as well. Donnie's up for it. Do they follow it? Should my teammate to go for this? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I want to watch this back because I, I do want to see what was happening with Prospectual. He was. Ah, uh, he was driving backwards. I actually thought he was playing uh, like a shadow position there. I don't know why I thought his Fennec was facing the other way. I definitely could have rotated back post for him if I knew that was happening, but I for some reason thought he was facing the other way because I don't know why he was facing forward, trying to be aggressive on that. Trying to get a challenge here. Hopefully Burner can get on this. Great clear. On the field. Did I get a demo? Okay. Let's stay, let's stay close in this corner. A good clear. I'm going to try and get out here. Someone should be pushing this. I'm on backboard. Good try. I'm going to try and follow this up. If I follow this up really, really fast, nobody should be able to pu uh, punish us on that double commit. Get the boost. Good try. See if Prospectual can get in here. Good challenge. Okay, pretty aggressive turn from Burner. And we knew that from the last game that he's tends to push up a lot. Good bumps. Good pop. It's a great clear. I can take this to the corner by just touching it to the side. It's a good challenge. Dreamin's up. Let's see if he makes a shot on target. Now, I should be able to backboard to clear that. Like, that would be the better play because now we're still under pressure, but... Oh. Ouch. You can see I'm looking up at the ball a lot here, which is going to put you in a really awkward position because you don't know what's happening with the players. So it would be good to turn off your ball cam. Might be open here. Oh, not the strongest shot. Good cut. Dream is going to mess up his teammate. And a touch in midfield. And I'm getting bumped into the play. I, I, made, I turned around the ball and made sure I got the right touch towards the net. But in this position, like, that's so unlucky for Dreaming because he kind of just pops it back into mid. I'll say thanks. So far, I feel like I can get... I got a good read on Burner. I do not know where Prospectual is going to go a lot of the times. See if we can control this or get it cleared on the field. Nice. Maybe another touch. Get a shot down the field. Donny has control, so I need to get behind my teammate Burner so he can go for a, a challenge of some sorts. I think Prospect should probably turn on this. He's the one facing forwards. A good chip down the field. A little awkward. X or Zypane doesn't have the best touch. I'm trying to get a touch off the backboard really high here. Good save. I can maybe cut that off for him, but I want to see if he can challenge. Wow. He definitely can. 
definitely a uh, a lucky goal because they definitely could have been flicked into the ceiling there, but he missed the uh, the final flick on the Dominus. I'm gonna go back for boost here. I don't know if people are half flipping yet. I have no idea. Looks like Zypain wants to be on this. It's a lucky clear, but that tends to happen if you go for those. Great cut from them. Now I see that the the only player to really be able to get at mid is Dondi, so I was trying to turn and look for him in those positions. Great cut. Burn has to make a touch. I'm letting these two rotate. Just getting a good feel of what they want to do. Across the net. Right here, I can let this go up the wall and then drive into it really fast. So then I win that ball. And no one's really ready for it. Dreamin makes a decent touch, but does bait both my teammates up. Gonna get in the way and just trying to get a, a, a chip. If you if you want to get like high pops like that. There's like a little like sweet spot on the car in the front that really gets those hard hard touches, and the rotation of your aerial into into that that clear or into that touch is important. Like rotating like this into the ball, um, like forward into the ball like that, versus like rotating like into the ball like this, where you're getting like a flick up into the ball is going to change dramatically how the ball clears. And definitely go into like training packs and get a feel for that. Like, the kind of contact on the ball you can get. Okay, both. I think all three of us went for that. A little scary. A great shot opportunity. Great save. Wow. I'm going to drive backwards here and get a backflip. Good challenge. I'll cut for him here because Prospectual is not, like, pushing out for that. Hit the back corner boost. And now Dreamin's low here. That's both players. I'm gonna know this is gonna bounce in the mid a little bit. Might get B here. But Burner's in a perfect position to rotate. Sit behind him again here. Off the backboard. There's a good chance. All three of them go. Should be a clear back though. Popping their last player. Good try. Should be Burner here. Wow. There's a chance for them. Great clear, though, from Prospectual. Definitely got a better read on him the, the second half of that game. Um, but at the beginning, he was definitely playing a little bit slow. Um, but honestly, great rotation from Burner. Like, even though he was making some cutoffs that I didn't really agree with, a lot of the times he was making good touches to put, put me in a good position to follow up with him. And honestly, that was definitely a higher level looking diamond game than we've seen before in the previous season. So I definitely think a lot of these players have been champ before. As you can see, there's season 13, season 3 champ tournament winner um so that was definitely like a better game than we've seen in 3v3 so far um i imagine by the time we get through all of these placements we're probably going to be around like mid champ uh or champ two um so i'll we'll have to see i mean not mid champ like mid champ like of champ one two three um so i i, I think so far we've seen a lot of progress i hope you guys are in like getting or a grasp of what i'm trying to explain in my thoughts i'm not the best at explaining my thoughts when i'm playing the game i feel like i'm trying my best to do that uh, but either way, definitely a uh, lot to learn there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Catch you in the next one. All right, let's make this thing. We've got the hen and we've got Zen. I think you know where this is going. You've already seen it, so I, you know more than me right now. Let's uh, let's try to get Zen's head here. It's gonna look a little weird right now. I think. Well, I think it's always gonna look a little weird, <laughs> considering what I'm doing. I think we just go like that, <laughs> and uh, we clean it up. I'm liking where this is going. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know what else I could really do here other than maybe combine the two. And then let's go with like a... Is it stamp tool? Clone stamp. Um, <laughs> I I don't know if I like what I'm doing here, but I'm going to keep trying. Uh, Okay, I think it's done. I, I can't do any more. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm pretty happy with this one. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> okay, now I'm done. I'm happy.